in this video I wanted to show off a, a pretty extremely cheesy way to to go but it's very effective um, just like other identify cheese um, this basically uh, nullifies the monsters but <clears throat> it's different and unique in that the mechanics of the diameter rider allowing the pet and guest to Ellie seek and those kinds of things makes for some uh, fun play styles but I would recommend not relying on the ally assists but actually having this armor handy basically what you're going to do if they're not already undead you're just going to use the skill make them undead and then just switch back <clears throat> this play style is not very resource intensive so um, it should work but all you're going to do is from here you're going to have dual creature 72 on panic mode with your eternal champion shield and then you just prime chaos orb spam the reason this works is even though the uh, creature 72s are darkness element it is now going to ellie seek so in this instance it's earth one click and it changed it to light one click changed it to fire so basically you're going to spam it and it won't really matter how the resistance to scramble the pet and guest will ellie seek and therefore the panic will scale based on the new seeked element and then i use the havarti blade as i'm doing this in the event that like for example right now if it does allow me to attack i try to do the 50 50 pet and guest mode and then what you're going to notice is the panic stack will go pretty low it's already down to 16 there and if you remember the panic each so it's got four lines each of those lines needs to be resisted for everything to come off so after a couple of rounds I've up to eight clicks on prime cast orb this time we have ice going and then the monster's dead <clears throat> you really don't take that much damage provided especially provided um, Ellie seeking now monsters like this with the same element across the board and then elements lower than a hundred are going to uh, cause problems with this play style but other than that as long as you have an element at above a hundred uh, this should work pretty well you don't have to do celerity but it will uh, allow you to just make sure that you do this first and then you go ahead and get the ball rolling with the prime cast orb stack and you don't have to stick to your creature 72's um, damage is going to drop pretty fast in most cases so like for example we have 225 here as you'll notice it's down to 11 now it's literally 3% uh, damage here so you could just skip to maybe a more damaging pet and guest or you could just go this route but now it's at 1% If you notice, I've taken almost no damage. My wind element is 84%. So what you're doing is, even though, like right now I have 15 clicks of Prime Chaos Orb, that lean change is not even close to how being more powerful than the panic stack that's happening. The panic stack, in my opinion, is the single most powerful uh, defensive status you can do when you stack it. Um, you can drive it down super low and the monster has to do 10, like for example in this in, instance, 10 individual save attempts. And then you can continue doing this. You could run like a 
SP pet or something like jelly will seek now. But as you're noticing now, damage is pretty high. So you're basically just going to use Creature 72. It's going to always Ellie seek. And then you just rinse repeat from there. You could use like a choke pet or something, but I think it's not as effective. It will not. You're not going to be able to get the same result because this, the panic uh, will last until a save is made. can do different combos. You don't have to use Creature, creature 72. Like for example, um, I, I just like to do it just to make sure that monster offense is nerfed well enough. But you don't have to go that route. <clears throat> so what we got here, it's going to seek one of the 120s there. It looks like it's going to go with wind. And even just the Gez version has already won the first round there 30% to So, you don't have to go that route, um, but pretty cheesy way to go. I'll do this last one. It's just rinse, repeat, really. It's just celerity. Identify. For the armor over Zorbax. Use a Vardy Blade. Maybe I can get a chance to go twice. It'll Ellie Seek always. And already down to 18% damage. Pretty easy cheese. Um, you can use all kinds of things, like the Mono Leech pets that are harm will actually outperform their normal selves because they'll be hitting a larger element. Um, anything that, like the Void Skulls or anything, Jelly Pet that heals based on um, damage, um, you know, the Ellie Seeking there will help. Um, you can use a variety of things. But I just, I usually just use Creature 72 and just nerf monster offense down to nothing. And usually by that time, I just, I just keep doing that because um, damage for the pet and guest will start to go up enough. Or in the event that you get to attack, your, your weapon damage will be decent at that point. So <clears throat> there you go for probably, I think doing it that way is maybe the best way to run that armor. Um, one of the things that people had concern was is quote you're stuck in the armor so uh, like I guess it's defense wasn't the greatest um, so you can't just use it widespread but doing it this way you can 